Welcome back to the Energy Sovereignty Project and a real quick topic. So we get asked fairly frequently, why so many batteries? Do you need that many batteries? And the answer to that, as far as the shoulder period goes, is pretty obvious by some of our previous episodes. Yeah, it really does help you work that shoulder period. Is it cost effective to do so? Time will tell. We'll be able to, to see that as uh, the cost of battery systems and, and photovoltaic arrays come down. But when we were initially assembling the project, one of the things that I looked closely at were other manufacturers and other types of batteries. And the two things that I always wound up coming up against were the physical size of the batteries and the current flow, the outflow. Each of these is rated at five kilowatts nominal. In other words, a continuous flow. They have a little bit higher peak, but we won't discuss that for a minute. The nominal flow of each of these is five kilowatts. So we have 30 kilowatts of available discharge to the home. That means I can run everything. Air conditioning, while the dryer's going, when somebody's cooking in the oven and running their air dryer, and charging the car. I've actually already done that, so we've actually drawn as much as 22, 23 uh, kilowatts straight off of the batteries, just powering home. Works just fine, didn't even blink. So some of the other battery types that look on paper like they're great, like the flow batteries that are available from uh, Sonnen and a few others, Though the capacities are enormous in these batteries, the amount of energy that they will store, the amount of discharge is very small, generally in the one to three kilowatt range. And so in order to do this, we'd have to have 10 of those things, and they're the size of a 55 gallon drum. So you wind up running into, into those kinds of, of considerations. And so because these were very energy dense, the packaging was relatively small, and we felt that we could get away with six, we installed six. It fit what the home would possibly draw, even if we had to drop one or two of them because they were down for maintenance or failure or what have you. Um, so that all fit very nicely with what we were trying to do. Well, in summer, we don't need six. And in fact, in summer, it's a problem to have six. And here's why, at least when the configured this way. Right now, these batteries are completely full. Uh, it's about ready to put some, some power out to, the, out to the grid. Well, the problem isn't that I'm eventually putting power out to the grid or that I have all this energy. The power is, is that these batteries will potentially remain completely full for months. I don't want to leave them in that state. So currently my only option is to actually go and shut solar off. But the best option would be for Tesla to modify their application to allow these batteries to take a certain amount of charge and then stop charging and send the rest to the uh, grid. So hopefully uh, that's something that they will do in the very near future and we're going to reach out to Tesla and anybody who has multiple power walls that are trying to do the same thing as we are, uh, I highly recommend too that you mention to Tesla that that's a feature that you would really like to have. And that will allow us to really extend the life of these batteries out. And that also allows us to choose if we have a couple of cloudy days coming in, coming up, you know, freak summer storm or what have you, we can go ahead and set that to 100%, have the system charged 100%, get us past that. If we are finding ourselves on an extended day of driving, we can go onto the app and say, Ooh, you know, send it to 100% so that then when we get home, we can have that extra charge to go straight to the vehicle. More versatility. Well, that's about it for this quick topic. Hope it was something that uh, you enjoyed. If it was, feel free to like and subscribe if you guys are already following along. Feel free to leave a comment and let us know how this might relate to your own system. Are any of you contemplating systems that are, say, three power walls or above? And uh, we'll let you know how this goes throughout the summer. We'll keep in touch with uh, Tesla and see if that's something that uh, they'd like to address.